Hello folks, welcome back to the barn. As you can see, we have a special guest here today. Uh, one that should be familiar to regular viewers. That is our 2001 E39, AKA the Land Yacht. And the Land Yacht, that has been through quite a few conversions since her original one in 2012 is now about to embark upon yet another. But before we get into that, let's just marvel at the fact that I have a car in the barn here, up on stands, and I can walk around it with the doors closed, with the door closed and all the wind and the rain outside, and I can work on it here without being, um, yeah, without getting wet and windy and all that kind of thing. I've got my matting on the floor for maximum comfort. So, let's have a quick look under the bonnet here. We'll show you what we have here, and then we'll talk about what we're going to put in. So, this conversion, I think, is about the possibly the fourth one. And what we have under here is a Siemens 1PV5135 motor, coupled to a 530D five-speed manual gearbox. And up top, a Tesla Gen 2 charger, and a Toyota Prius Gen 3 inverter converter. Uh, so the Prius inverter runs our Siemens motor, and provides DC to DC uh, conversion. Tesla charger charges our battery up front, high voltage junction box. Underneath there you won't really be able to see, but it's our front uh, battery box with half of our uh, Gen 1 Nissan Leaf uh, 24 kilowatt hour battery. Coming around the back of the car then, the back and sorry about the poor light here we have the other half of our leaf pack and in there we won't be able to see anything at all is our nine kilowatt hour uh bmw 740e hybrid pack which is in parallel with our leaf pack so don't really know how many kilowatt hours that this has because the leaf pack wasn't new uh, it was from my wife's 2011 car when we did the 40 kilowatt hour upgrade. But anyway, we're not here to talk about batteries. We're here to talk about drive systems. So the Siemens motor and Prius inverter have worked away quite well in this car now for the past few years. Uh, so why are we going to change this, you might reasonably ask. Well, some of you may know, uh, for the last few weeks here, I've been building up my test bench and working with the Lexus GS450H and GS300H gearboxes um, for our VCU project and getting that um, back into a working uh, pers perspective from a point of view of software. We have gotten that working pretty well now. So what we're going to be doing, folks, is we're going to be taking our GS450 gearbox, GS450 inverter, and transplanting those into the land yacht. So our land yacht is going to get a Lexus swap. So we're going to be um, basically taking out, oops, we're going to be taking out the existing uh, drivetrains. We'll be taking out the inverter, motor, gearbox, probably the charger as well, because I have a different plan for charging this car. And we'll be putting in our GS450H um, inverter 
and gearbox in here and we'll be changing the um, changing the manual shifter here for an automatic one which I have hiding in the back there. So we're basically going to be auto swapping the land yacht uh, for want of a better word. So what I have to do is I've been draining the oil on this overnight uh, so that'll be all done. I've got to get some fresh oil. I've got to tidy up the wiring here. Uh, I've got to, once we get fresh oil in, I've got to dismount it off the engine stand. Get it on our little, um, get it on our little kind of uh, scissor lift thing here. And uh, start making up the front mount. Um, get our input shaft locked up. I'm not gonna bother videoing most of that stuff because number one, I've done it all before on the E65. And there is um, good enough garage has done much better videos on that than me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this sorted out. So I will come back to you on this project uh, when we are kind of in a better, when we have it kind of, let's say maybe the gearbox in, and we'll go through uh, connecting up the VCU and all that kind of thing. But I have to say, it's gonna be a much nicer um, experience doing this indoors. It'll be the first indoor um, work that I've done on a car. Um, I think really beyond, in my own place anyway, I have, uh, worked in other people's places but not my own barn <laughs> so that's it folks we are putting the 450h into the e39 and don't worry we also have a new project car for the 300h that i will be talking about in an upcoming episode so folks there you have it Short enough video for you today by my standards anyway. And we have a land yacht inside with the door closed. So I'll leave you there. And like I said, I'll come back when we're getting our 450H system in. And um, like I said, I'm not gonna go through huge detail on this. There are better videos out there. And again, there's even some of mine from the E65 project uh, if you want to look that up. So, as always, don't forget to dislike, thumbs down, do not share this with your friends, they won't be your friends anymore. Do check the links in the description, description for um, Open Inverter Forum, GitHub, all of that good stuff, but don't support me on Patreon or PayPal, because then I do more of these kind of things, and as we say, who wants to see, see that stuff? So, um, until next time, happy reconverting the reconversion of the conversion. <laughs>